September 20th, 2020. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Don't hurt nobody with your bad self. And welcome to Comes Out Live, the Bear Podcast, with Determine the Length, episode number 570. Uh, and uh, guess what, folks? It's uh, that time again where we uh, click this button. Just eat it, eat it. Let's talk about food, shall we? Uh, although mm-hmm. we're kind of talking about food. Well, we are. It's, <laughs> it's stuff that goes into food, which creates food. <laughs> It's Gary. Why are we talking about this? Well, if somehow you missed the title of the show, <laughs> then you just don't know. We're talking about the um, ubiquitous yet controversial mm-hmm. pumpkin spice. Mm-hmm. Like that like... fall. Treat. To quote a uh, previous host of this uh, podcast, pumpkin spice. Anybody? Mm-hmm. <sighs> ah, I missed Robert. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> pumpkin if, spice. If anything, Robert is, is is perfectly happy, and I'm very happy for him. Yes, he's doing well. Yes. Any case. That's beside the point. Mm. Uh, and somebody spice. decided to put some pumpkin spice in its coffee. Kind of. I technically got a Keurig pod of pumpkin spice coffee oh, okay. that I have made. So it is not, it is already saturated with the pumpkin, pumpkin spice. spice. Well, maybe not saturated because it's kind of weak, but anyway. <laughs> I mean,. Okay, Grey Mountain. All right. Anyway. <laughs> I just realized the irony of you drinking that and your earlier comment. So for those that didn't get the pre-show, Damon, out of the three of us, is the one with the pumpkin spice at the moment. And with uh, all of that lovely skin he has, I now see the irony of the basic white girl <laughs> aspect. <laughs> Bravissimo. You've caught on to my ploy so easily. No kidding. (laughs) (laughs) You have triggered my trap. (laughs) Basic white girl that all Uh, of us requires offerings. mm -hmm. Nice quote out of our uh, members' chat. So I have a couple of questions for you, fine gentlemen. Mm -hmm. First one. Pumpkin spice fad or forever food? Sadly, I think it's forever food. Well, yeah. So I, I say I say that for a, a very specific way. It's very fatty with the D, not a T, uh, uh, because it, because around this type of year, the basic white girls and all, all the inner basic white girls start going crazy for it, and then all the companies trying to make a shit ton of money from it put it out. The only thing is that happens every single freaking year. Yeah. I mean, how do I put it? It wasn't a fad to begin with. You know, if you look up what pumpkin spice is or what it actually is, mm-hmm. um, it's it's literally five spice. Five spices put together to put into, you know, it's just a spice mix that's meant to put in that you put in pumpkin pie to give it that, you know, flavor, a good flavor, as it were. Um, so it's been around for a long time. The individual spices have been around forever, you know, what have you. The combination has been around for you know for a while 
And it's only until recently that it has become a big, like, big, big, big deal. Um, particularly because of the pumpkin spice latte that Starbucks created. Well, it's funny that you mentioned that. So a couple of things. There will be links for those of you uh, <laughs> that want to um, go to our website and check out the blog portion of it. Uh, perhaps we can put them in the chat as well as we talk about uh, them. So the first one here is from Wikipedia. Pumpkin Pie Spice is technically mm -hmm. the name of the page, also known as Pumpkin Spice. Um, and it talks about what a recipe is for it and that a pumpkin with an O, not a U, um, was a recipe that dates all the way back to 1796. Uh, and it has been as pumpkin pie spice referenced in cookbooks since the 1890s. So, Damon, you, like, you're spot on with the, it's been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, like I was looking at the, the, um, Wikipedia page and that little jar that they have a picture of, a uh, fucking McCormick pumpkin pie spice. I remember that jar. Maybe not that exact, you know, coloring branding because it was, you know, maybe older. But I remember pumpkin pie spice at my house. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. the actual little jar of pumpkin pie spice. Mm -hmm. So, well, you also have. To I know it's been a that 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 McCormick spice jar sprinkler things uh, are all all look like that. So if you, mm -hmm, you could mm -hmm. replace pumpkin with apple pie spice, which I also have, have and it looks yeah. pretty much exactly the same thing. Um, yeah. So, but, but yeah. I do, Go on. I, I, like I said, I do rem I remember specifically pumpkin pie spice. Like I remember it because my mom, they use, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm pretty sure, but I'll have to, I'd have to call my mom. But I think you can use pumpkin pie spice to... Um, flavor a sweet potato pie, which my dad was would make. So there's that idea, but I don't, again, I could be wrong. Um, so I mean, a, a pump, pumpkin and uh, uh, sweet potatoes kind of have a similar consistency, if that's the right mm -hmm. word. And there's just something about it, about it where those that those different types of sp those spices work well with both of those. Uh, yeah. They're because sweet potatoes are root vegetables, while uh, uh, p pumpkins are gourds. So I can't say well, mm -hmm. they're both gourds or or they're both root vegetables to get the flavoring. But uh, it's uh, it's just like. How you eat it usually ends up being yeah. re relatively yeah. similar. Yeah. Well, and actually, let me double check something. Quick. Okay. Uh, ah! Sorry. Um, <laughs> well, I'm bouncing between two devices for um, like wireless keyboard. <laughs> All fancy with the oh yes that's correct technically a pumpkin is a fruit yeah that's what i wanted to yep. double check on because it's a seed bearing structure of a flowering plant yeah uh, i think gourds are all fruits just just so. like tomatoes tomatoes are a fruit mm -hmm. um even though everyone thinks of it as a vegetable, but you know. yeah, we, we yeah. Uh, culinarily speaking, it's considered a vegetable, but tech, technically, scientifically speaking, it's a fruit. So, uh, in addition to that particular um, pumpkin spice thing, uh, I guess I'll go back to the question about the the fat or forever food. Um, I personally don't know if I have an answer on this. I think it's more fad than forever food. Mm. And my reason is that it will eventually, and I don't know after how long, it'll just fade to the to the background. Mm -hmm. Like, perhaps it will be like um, green bean casserole. A dish, a thing that is known for a specific time of year 
you know, served around like, mm-hmm. you know, X, whatever it is. And in the future, at a certain point, people will tell stories of how pumpkin spice <laughs> was actually, you know, pumpkin pie spice and it was put into pumpkins, but then it crossed over and it became very popular. And now we just take it for granted. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know. I mean, if I could see that. I mean, the big thing right now has often been, you know, it's obviously become very commercialized. Mm-hmm. You know, every every year around this time is like, here's our pumpkin things, and here's our pumpkin spice things, and, you know, this one, usually they kind of fall in one of the same. Although technically, FYI, pumpkin spice does not have pumpkin in it. Um, no. Right. It's only used because <laughs> it was, it, it's the, the spice blend that is used for pumpkin pies. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's a good, so it's it's a good spice blend, too. Yeah, it, it, it it's is. Got, it's got cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, uh, cloves, and allspice. Just yeah. to, to actually give the the full full definition of, of it. And contrary to popular belief, allspice is one word, and it's not all spices. I don't know why <laughs> it's called allspice, but which kind of sounds like a misnomer because it's one spice. And it's not like other spices. <laughs> it complements other spices. But... Trying to figure out why it's called allspice. That is a good I'm question. looking. I'm <laughs> <out of it. laughs> I could I just click the link that says allspice. And, and I know. Well, there's a off. bunch of um, like plants that are called allspice. Different varieties. But I don't see anything in here about how it got its name. What is the etym- 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 what is the etymology of allspice? Allspice is the dried fruit of the pimenta diet. Oh, found it. Go for it. So the the name, quote-unquote, allspice was coined as early as 1621 by the English, of course, who valued it as a spice that combined the flavor of cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. Oh... So from their perspective, that flavor represented those three flavors combined. So instead of calling it trio spice, they called it all spice. <laughs> trio spice. <laughs> our, you know, Jamaican pepper, our myrtle pepper, our pimento, our pimento, like, which is, I don't know where those come from, but whatever. You know, it's, yeah, they, they're like, it tastes like three things that we like. It has is it, everything. Is it those all three spice. things done? Is it, is it? Is it those three things also parts that are in the pumpkin pie spice recipe? Yes, Jeff, you are correct. <laughs> I sub, I mean, you could do like four and a half parts or something like that. Uh, uh, nutmeg and four and a half parts of cloves and the. Uh, uh, or something, you know. I'm Listen. sure there's a ratio where if you didn't have all spice, you could just up those three just a little bit to cover that, you know. Or eighteen and a third parts ground cinnamon, <laughs> cinnamon. Four and a third parts of nutmeg. Four and a third parts of cloves. Okay, so. So, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna take us on a sidebar, like as a branch, just for the briefest moment, okay? Yeah. Because sure, we've sure, because we've friend. decided to do this thing about how they named it Allspice in 1621. I decided to look up 1620s England, just as a reference point, okay, kids. Uh, okay. You need to kind of keep these things in mind about the health back then. Doctors used leeches, okay. And they had concepts of personality about the what were called the four humors. So you had a hot, fiery personality, a cold, calm personality, a dry or bad-tempered personality, or a moist, melancholy personality. That being said, I'm not saying they had the best sense of taste nor discernment in things. So I'm not surprised that they were like, hey, this reminds me of three different things blended together, yet we will call it all spice. So, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, uh, the uh, uh, English are known to roll back in some of their their namings. 
for example, soccer. They start I'm leaving that Nation, alone. Association uh, football to soccer. And you know what? We just we just continued doing it here in the states. So they, that's where we learned it. And then the the uh, great grandma uh, uh, England decided, oh no, it's football. Why are you calling it soccer? But remember, this is the time in which they were not aware of how the disease was spread. So yeah, they did not think about that. washing their hands or eating or cleaning, like you know, mm. washing their hands before eating cleaning like things so disease was like a big deal so i just think everybody had like funk breath and bad taste so there you go i'm just gonna ooh, this is lovely coffee mm, tasty yeah so um there's also an article about how um pumpkin spice took over fall mm -hmm. uh it's a couple of years old but uh it's kind of long like i don't expect anyone to like really dive super in but it is intriguing about how like the origins exist and it was like popular it was a little bit popular but then like it really kind of skyrocketed before like starbucks it became a thing um, one of the takeaways that i found interesting from it is that it is a limited time only kind of concept in terms of marketing so to me this is the equivalent this is a horrible analogy. It's the equivalent of a McRib or a Shamrock Shake. Like you can only get it at a certain time, specificity, mm -hmm. like limited, you know, opportunity, and that's why people lose their shit apparently over it. Mind you, you can make it at home and you can have it 365 or 366 yeah. days a year. So yeah, these were sitting on the shelf. Granted, it is the fall right now, but I've seen pumpkin spice things on the shelves like all the time. You want a fucking pumpkin donut, you can probably, you know, make them yourself. There are recipes all over the place. Yeah. And guess what? They probably have pumpkin spice. You could probably make a pumpkin pie in the summer. I mean, pumpkin may not always be readily available, per se, but pumpkin puree usually is in some way, shape, or form. You can hold on to it because you can can it. You can make pumpkin. You can can pumpkin now. Ha, ha, ha. And then have some in the summer or in the spring. Right. Sheep, or... stop falling for these marketing ploys. <laughs> or you could just go to the store and buy canned pumpkin, which is sure. really pumpkin. And, you know, that was a great controversy, what, two years ago Ooh. or whatever, when that was revealed. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there's mm -hmm. that. That. Yeah. All right. Second question, gentlemen love it or hate it? Well, I I kind of feel like I already know David's response based on the stunt that he's pulled tonight, but that's just me. <laughs> saying that that fan is so appropriate at this moment. Is it with <laughs> like shady fan? Pop? What about the shirt? Mm. Shade. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Jeff, you go first, because apparently we already know my answer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's yeah. my answer to pumpkin spice. Eh. It's, it's, I like pumpkin pie, so I can't say that I don't, I, I can't say that I don't like the spice. What I don't like, or just, just don't care about. I don't know if it's necessarily don't like it. Like, I'll drink a pumpkin spice latte if somebody handed it to me, but I'm not going to go out and try to actually search for it or anything. I, I think the big thing for me is not necessarily, like, the, the spice itself. It's more mm -hmm. of the overhypiness of pumpkin spice. Uh, it is... It, I, I think it's just overhyped. I mean... It's not as bad as Titanic back back when I was in high school. <laughs> there, it's it's not something that has been that that has been like so overblown that I just refused to I just avoid it at all costs. I have never seen the movie Titanic. I know a little bit about it. My big thing with it with it is I know, hey, the boat sinks. We're good. Okay. We're fine. I don't need to watch the movie. <laughs> 
Don't get me wrong. I love James Cameron movies. I love The Abyss. I, I love uh, Aliens. I, I loved Avatar. I, I like his movies, but when you have uh, 16, 17, 18-year-old girls in a high school playing and requesting to the radio station over and over and over again, my heart will go on. This, that's how bad Titanic was for me, just to get kind of give you a measure of, of where I am. Pumpkin Spice is below that. It's probably got some space below it, but it's up there. So what I'm hearing, Jeff, is that Titanic gave you PTSD. Mm-hmm. And what we're talking about is just simply PSL, and therefore, like, it has a lower ranking. Uh, hold on, hold on. Roll back. Uh, uh, I'm not familiar with PSL. Pumpkin oh. spice. Pumpkin spice latte. latte. Oh, okay, okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Wow. I'm so proud of you because that means you're not a basic white girl bitch. Like, because you didn't know what PSL was. David, on the other hand. I look good for you. Uh, <laughs> Gary? Wait, wait. Let me out. Let, let's break it down since we're gonna. I'm going on another sidebar. David, you got any leggings? You got some Lululemons? You like? You want to confess to us? Yoga pants? No, no yoga pants for sure. Okay. No, I, I mean no. I mean, I guess I have the male equipment of le- leggings, which would be like compression pants, like the. <laughs> that's a little. That's <laughs> like the... Yeah, yeah. No. Then no, no. I, I was mean... trying. I was trying to. I was trying to bait you with like the things that are horribly stereotyped yeah. about yeah. basic white yeah. women who like oh, love pumpkin God. spice latte. I need. We need to like reach out to Ray. And get hit because there was that one time. If you were, he did for a Halloween costume at work. He did the basic white bitch for a Halloween costume. <gasps> he had like the he I had, about had that. the he had sweater with the 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 <laughs> with the scarf and the leggings and the UGG boots, and he carried like a a um, Starbucks cup with pumpkin. Like it was, I'm assuming it was a pumpkin spice latte cup, but you know, it was a Starbucks cup. And I and I, I, <laughs> I fucking loved it. I forgot how long. Oh, that was such a fun. I laughed my ass off when I saw that. If you give anyway. me a moment, I will see if I can find that because I'm pretty sure he posted it on his Instagram that we have sure. access to. Um, so, go ahead, Damon. Well, I, I'll tell my side. Um, um, it's pretty obvious I'm a, a love it of pumpkin spice. Um, but that's because I like the flavors. Um, am I kind of into the hype? A little bit. I will own, I get influenced by things. I probably have been. Um, I love I love the taste of pumpkin. Um, I think Kroger's makes a pumpkin chocolate chip cookie that comes around this time of the year. And they're the big, like, soft, um, soft baked like, cookies. And I... I I will kill a bitch for those because they are so fucking good. Granted, it's probably similar ish to, to like a pumpkin. It probably has pumpkin pie spice in it, but it's a pumpkin chocolate chip cookie, and they're amazing. Um, I I can drink a pumpkin spice latte very easily. I like the the taste of I like the taste of the pumpkin pie spice, and I like the taste of quote unquote pumpkin because sometimes it's not always real pumpkin. It's usually not. <laughs> um. I'm I'm with you, Jeff. I like pumpkin pie. Um, um, it's actually one of my favorites. Um, if I go to an event or go somewhere like a cookout or whatever, dinner, Thanksgiving, what have you, and there is a orange pie, meaning like, is it is it sweet potato? Is it pumpkin? I don't care. Because in one way, shape, or form, I'm going to like it. Because I fucking like those both of those pies. So as long as it's there, um, I'm good. Um, I, like, I, uh, I will probably say, like I said before, I probably have been influenced a little bit by, you know, marketing and whatever. I really do like this time of year. Um, 
The flip of it, however, is one of my favorite things in the world around this time um, is there's a bakery here, um, Cincinnati local bakery called Buskins. And every year they do a um, an apple spice donut. It's a cake donut. Um, and it is it is just amazing. I don't know if it has pumpkin spice in it. It probably has cinnamon and nutmeg. And it has the flavor of apple in it, but it is a wonderful cake donut and it is amazing. They only make it around, you know, this time of the year. And I've missed it so much because um, there's no long there was no longer buskins downtown. So in order to get it, I have to go like somewhere else to go get it. And that's always a little bit harder for me. But one of my favorite like kind of flavors, especially around this time of the year. Um yeah, I I love it. Like I can't admit I won't deny the basicness of it, but I do love it. Okay, so uh, I just want to 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 quickly notate something or mm -hmm. something. I don't know. I keep getting getting those two up. So there is McCormick also sells something called apple pie spice. Okay. Uh, so there is a thing. It hasn't become a, a thing where there's drinks and all sorts of things. Uh, or mm -hmm. if there is, it's probably the drinks are just called apple. Uh, but commonly, the spices that are used in an apple pie are cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg. Mm -hmm. Which are three of the ingredients of pumpkin pie spice. Mm-hmm. So most likely with that, that apple donut thingy is they're probably using those three Yeah. Three uh three spices in, in the blend. Uh I think it's because of the clove that it gives it a is where pumpkin spice co comes in with a that's different taste. The cloves give it more of a I wanna say a savory taste. Mm -hmm. While the other three kind of reminds people more of more of sweet things. Yeah. If that makes any sense? Yeah. 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 I mean, it makes it makes sense to me. And it does it makes sense that there's an apple pie spice mm -hmm. blend, you know, as well. Like it makes sense, you know. To but you know, to be blunt, like you can technically make it yourself. You can yeah, you, you I mean, can get a... cinnamon and nutmeg and ginger yeah. and or whatever and whatever, whatever, and like make the spice blend yourself. It, it but it's faster <laughs> well it's easier for a simpletons to yeah to, yeah to just it's... buy it off the shelf which yeah. is the reason why it's why mccormick has it has this big old thing on of spice stuff although sometimes i buy the the non dean baron one because they're basically the same although the package is different maybe. uh Coker alton brown one. would Coker have a field day in, yeah alton brown would have a field day in regards to uh, quality and what to look for in those type of things, but for oh, sure. us who well, aren't going uh, the going any bougie on anything, uh, buying it off the shelf um, should be yeah. We'll we'll be just fine. We'll be satisfied. Uh, but yeah, like I will own, um, you know, one of my favorite flavors is cinnamon. Not just like eating a thing of cinnamon, but like mm -hmm. a nice little right, cinnamon right. with something is a good, like, subtle spice to add the things that I've, you know, enjoyed. You know, I was a big fan of, like, I loved Apple Jacks cereal. Yeah. You know, that's the perfect example. Apple Cinnamon Studios. Yeah, Apple Cinnamon Studios. That was a big thing. Apple was a, like, that was a thing for a while, too. Like, like if I think if I remember correctly, there's also like oh, apple, speaking of, or there's also like the cinnamon powdered sugar donuts. Mm -hmm. Like I like those mm -hmm. better than just the regular powdered sugar donuts. Yeah, and to kind of um, add things to you, Jeff. Um, so the Titanic, my heart will go on. That was the theme of my senior prom because it was so popular at that time. Was it senior or junior? I think it was senior. My senior prom was was my heart will go on. Yeah, so it was like that was our. Yeah, I was in tenth or eleventh grade at the time, so Sounds yeah, about right. It was, it was, and like you, 
I hated the movie and the song so much because it was played so fucking often that I <laughs> I did not want to go to my senior prom. Like, these, not, these. There were other reasons too, but the like the big one was like I really don't want to like hear this song. And of all the themes we had at that time, the vote of the votes that was one of them. But there were these other ones that were probably a little bit more general ish, you know, kind of themes. They weren't specifically based on a song or anything along those lines. They were just very kind of like you know. Silver and white fantasy, whatever, you know, you know, that kind of thing. And this would, when it came out and I was like, the minute I saw it on the list of the themes for the, uh, for the prom, I was like, fuck, this is going to be the theme for the prom. Cause... You know why? Because all the, <laughs> the BYB or BWBs yeah. were, were going to just take over that vote. Yeah. They're going to force all yeah. their boyfriends to, to vote for it. This will make my girlfriend happy. Mm -hmm. We'll get to dance to it. Even though, like, it's not. Anyway, I could, I could, I could it's go a, it's on. A, it's, it's slow danceable, I'm sure. But, yeah. You won't. I won't. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, yeah. that was the horrible Just like, like your heart. joke, but I don't know if everybody got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyways. Gary. Um <laughs> I feel like <laughs> I feel like all right, because of my concept that it's more fad than anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on that path and I'm gonna say I hate it. Like I, I hate the ubiquitousness of it. I hate the universality that it's in everything. It's been added to so many products, like and then it becomes memes like pumpkin spice baby diapers. You know, like I it just like <laughs> it's just ridiculous. And that's yeah. the part that I hate about it. I don't hate the actual blend. That part yeah. doesn't bother me. Mm -hmm. But whoop de doo It's a spice blend, yeah. and I don't need it in everything. And it doesn't technically enhance your health in terms of, you know, benefits that I'm aware of, or I'm sure da some damn scientific study would have come forward by now with that. And then all, you know, all <laughs> of the PSL lovers out there would have, you know, raved on and on about how it's been proven, how great it is for you. Sorry, yeah. that doesn't happen. So... <laughs> Yeah, I, I can see that, though. You know, kind of like we've been talking about with, like, the Titanic back in the 90s. Like, that, you know, it became it becomes so overdone and so overplayed and so, like, absorbed into so many fucking things. Like, you know this time of the year is coming when you see the pumpkin spice things on the shelves. Like, you, you know it. Like, it always happens, always around this time. And it's pumpkin spice everything. Our pumpkin pump it's usually pumpkin spice everything, but sometimes it's pumpkin things, you know. Um, but yeah, usually, usually pumpkin there there's plenty of times where they'll leave out the spice. The only thing is a lot of those products will say pumpkin, leave out the spice, and they have absolutely no pumpkin in it. They just said it's pumpkin spice. That so bitches that just remember, just because it says pumpkin that's in something doesn't mean there's actually pumpkin in there. Yeah. That's my oh. big. That would be my biggest thing. Like I've been I trying to kind of been. I've been saying it specifically just to, because there is pumpkin things that happen around this year, mm -hmm. this time of the year, and then there are pumpkin spice things that happen around this year. And sometimes, as there is a blur between the two, but they are technically two separate things. They just go well. Go ahead, Gary. Well, no, I was, um, what I was going to say is it'd be better if they put the word pie in. If they call it pumpkin pie spice. No, because, because somebody's going to be like, it's in everything. Let's, let's just shorten it to pumpkin spice, which I think but is that's what happened here. But that's the origin of it. Like, conceptually, mm -hmm. culinary-wise, that's where people know it from. Then, then why aren't we calling soccer football? Because the origin of soccer is association football, and then we're doing the same to shorten it. 
but when we d- differentiate it because it's not football, it's or, or not soccer, it's, it's it's association football. I really hate to say this right now, but it is September twentieth of twenty twenty. America has no footing or standing in the world right now <laughs> on a lot of things. Just as a as a statement in general, so semantics. <laughs> should, about, should we like, all stand up and do a belly clap for that comment? comment I'm just yeah. like so yeah, for the yeah. for the. Oh, you, I, I you disappeared. <laughs> you disappeared. <laughs> on our screen, on <laughs> what we're seeing of him, yes, David. That's not what everybody else sees, but yeah, anyways. Everybody else is seeing my other camera. So. Um, but ah. my my thing is, like, we have almost no cred anymore, like respectability. So I'm kind of like, I I kind of don't care. Like I I'm willing to yeah. acquiesce and be like. You want to use the metric system. You want to do whatever, like, like have yeah. at it. Like, great for you. Um, I, I there are far more important things going on right now that I think you know I would like to, to yeah. think about or, or focus on. So, yeah, there's yeah. that. Uh, um, so, so yeah, I mean, and uh, yeah, so it's been like it's a how do I? I mean. It's, you know, it's, we said it, it's been around, I, as I said in the beginning, it's been around forever. It has become very, like, fad, you know, now because of just, I, I you know, I will say it. I probably will blame Starbucks and the pumpkin spice latte. Like, I, I don't think there's much else to really potentially blame in a sense. Mm-hmm. But that's kind of what I blame it on. You know, when they came out with their thing, their pumpkin spice latte, whenever they did, I think it was in the 2014, 2015, I think I did. Um, there it is, pumpkin spice latte. Thank you, Wikipedia. Um, when did it come out? Fall of 2003, final recipe was tested in Vancouver and Washington, D.C., Da, 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 da. Um, yeah, the company said that pumpkin spice latte was Starbucks' most popular seasonal beverage, with more than 200 million sold between its 2003 introduction and 2015. So yeah, yeah, everyone out there, you can blame Starbucks for the fad Popular that is spice. Yeah, yeah, but that, we kind of sure. knew that because because there's also the I don't know if you would call it meme, but uh, well, maybe it's meme. But the meme that Sp- Starbucks is on every corner in the United States, at least. Yeah. Yeah, true. It has it has made its way through our society, um, and therefore it it is you know it's gonna I, I i don't like i said the reason i think it's going to be forever is the only reason i think it's going to be forever is because it is technically a spice blend yeah. it's a spice mix there's there so to me that's why i feel it'll be forever but i kind of feel what you were saying earlier gary that it it is a little fad e <laughs> you know now <laughs> yeah fad e with the d well, I mean, that's fine. I, I, I hear what you're saying. I'm glad you didn't go the route of, I think it'll live for the other because pumpkin, because basic, like, pumpkin spice bitches never die. If you, <laughs> that was your argument, then I would have been like, no, just no. No, 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 no. I, I, I think, I'll put it like this. Eventually, something else will come along. Something, a new flavor, some kind, something that will will knock everyone's socks off because we're going to want to come up with something after a while. I'll you know? say this. I, I doubt that that would, that would happen in our lifetime. It, 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 just because of the current longevity of the a pumpkin spice, not a pumpkin pie fad. Mm-hmm. It, it's It's been so much a fad, even though it's a seasonal fad, it's still a fad. Yeah. Uh, uh, that that's been happening. That if something would come in to replace it, uh, it's going to take a really long time. And uh, I've hit midlife and have in, in the middle of my crisis. I suppose I don't know. Is 
Is that when you have midlife crisis? This is the first time I've hit this. Um, that it, in the second half of, of my life, I highly doubt that I'm going to die. If I die in the month of September, October, or November, there are going to be commercials uh, from Starbucks saying about their their release of the uh, about their pumpkin spice lattes. Yeah. Well, considering how it's already been on the market since for over a month because they released it early this year, I really don't know if it's like you know going to have the same impact. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps the pandemic has like vastly changed the PSL thing for us and we just don't know it yet. Maybe next year it just won't really be a thing like it has been in past years. Who knows? I doubt it. But but we'll see. We will see. Um uh we'll see. I I don't know. I'm I'm I feel it'll be around for a while. If not if not like you said, Jeff, like for our lifetime. Um, but I do also feel like, you know, 2020 has been a fucking really interesting year of shit. So maybe. Um, I did like the article, though, about the seven reasons to avoid pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> I kind of... So I threw this in, just sorry, David. I threw this in because I just found it in a Google search. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, bitch. Like, <laughs> and I think it was written recently, but I can't find a date time stamp on it for the record. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. It's all the way down at the bottom. Published September 1st this year, updated on September 11th. So it is the most kind of most recent things tied to this topic. Yeah. But it, you know, it, it's not healthy. <laughs> like no. when you get down to what is in it, it is it is a pumpkin spice latte is not I mean a hell fuck it. Like a latte, but a pumpkin spice latte is not healthy. Um especially like the big sugary ones you get at Starbucks. I I'm I, I Starbucks would never support us, so fuck it. Like <laughs> like like you're 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 dealing with a lot of stuff in this thing to get it to that point, and you could try to you know mitigate some things. Like personally, I'm I'm one that would usually I usually do skim milk as opposed to um, the whole you know fat milk. Um, I usually don't get the whipped cream topping on top because that's just you know I don't like okay. I don't like whipped cream on on my um, coffee drinks for the most part. Um, and I don't use, I usually don't use real sugar anymore. I'm usually a fake sugar, but there's sugar in the syrups. There's sugar in, you know, right. there's technically sugar in milk, but, you know, particularly there's sugar in the syrups. So, and you can't avoid it unless you happen to get a low fat or low sugar syrup. So, yeah. Right. So just as a quick rundown, the article that we're referencing lists the seven things um, that you should be aware of uh, when it comes to pumpkin spice lattes. Number one is sugar, uh, the high amount that's included. Two, the fact that it's a dairy product. Not everyone processes dairy all that well. Um, and it's usually like a high fat dairy uh, of some sort. Mm -hmm. uh, caffeine can be problematic for people. Um, Natural and artificial flavors. Um, natural and art is like a kind of referred to as a catch all term. It technically has a definition, but there's a lot of debate on that whole process. Um, carrageenan is usually uh, tied to being a stabilizer and emulsifier. So that goes back to that whole whipped cream aspect that you were talking about, Damon. Mm -hmm. um, preservatives, obviously, to keep it from going bad. And uh, caramel color. Yep. Because you know, if you're if you're gonna, let, I'll put it this way: if you make your own from scratch and you do all the steps, you make your own caramel, you make your own spice blend, you milk your own mammal for the dairy, 
Like, <laughs> you know, like, sure. You, like, you probably you make a put... way better tasting one and all that jazz. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like, I'm pretty sure you could probably make your own and it'd be pretty tasty without a lot of the calories and fat and, and sugar that you would get from the one at the like popular chain or popular coffee shops. Yeah. Yeah. So I think the, the thing to remember here is more of pumpkin spice latte in and of itself is not necessarily unhealthy. Pumpkin spice lattes from a, a, a mass market uh, a, a coffee chain is a completely different app. Well, yeah. and, and this particular article, like just for transparency or like uh, honesty or whatever, is from amymyersmd.com. Um, she is a two-time New York Times bestselling author and internationally acclaimed functional medicine physician. No offense, girl. I never heard of you before. But you wrote an article. <laughs> we happened to look it over. So there's that. Um, towards the bottom, she talks about the difference or comparatives between a coffee shop pumpkin spice latte and a pumpkin spice paleo protein mix. That's kind of the point of this article is to show like that you can like have something that's similar but different uh, with vastly like lower calories, fat, cholesterol, sodium, carbs, protein is higher actually, and no caffeine. And, so and is also a blatant ad for EBMD's uh, products that she sells on the site as well. Right. <laughs> but the takeaway <laughs> oh. of the seven things is understandable. Because I don't think mm -hmm. when people mm -hmm. order one, they think, like, I'm going to, you know, have these yeah. things that are in this particular. And, and let's be honest, a lot of things that Americans eat in their diet or in or drink are not broken down and explained, yeah. you know, yeah. in that mm -hmm. fashion. Yeah, it, 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 I think one, one of the big things for this is, sure, if the season rolls around, Starbucks releases the pumpkin spice latte and you have one large which is, i think it's their smallest so weird or is it tall 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 it's tall uh a one tall uh pumpkin spice latte from them eh, you're probably gonna be fine but yeah. it's not something you, you should be like every day you're picking up a, pot, a pumpkin spice latte i i think that's more the, what the takeaway you should have uh from this besides uh yeah be like this is evil. It's going to kill you. Don't look at hyperbole. <laughs> yeah. Sit back, relax. I... Uh, and, yeah. and just kind of like look at it for for the what it's uh, telling you and realize, hey, you know, a cheat, a special thing here and there, not going to be a bad thing for you. Just yeah. take care of yourself everything, in other ways. Everything in moderation. Is a great way to kind of think about things like this. Um, am I going to probably ha have a pumpkin spice latte from somewhere this season? More than likely. Technically, I've already had. <laughs> I had the, um, I got the um, pump, well, it's the pumpkin cold, nitro cold brew from Starbucks. I got that this week. Um, Jim was on his way home from an appointment. He was like, I'm stopping at Starbucks. And I was, he was like, what do you want? And I'm like, oh. They have this now because it's, you know, fall. So, well, not technically, but we, we, it's yeah. fall time. So here we go. Um, will I have it for sure? Because I like it. I'm a lover. I love it. I'm not going to lie. So, but I, especially now, don't have the lattes as much. Because... You yeah, know, I'm, I'm, well, no, I'm, 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 I'm 40. I'm, I'm over, I'm over 40. I'll be 41 in a month or so. Yeah, and all, I need to start, I need to be, start taking care of myself. Um, more so, you know, cause Hey, I've got health things to consider. I've got things to consider for my life, mm -hmm. you know? <sighs> yeah. Anyway, so there's that. All links to these articles will be in. Um, we didn't quite go over like how pumpkin spice took over fall. Did we did we really get into that? 
Well, I said that it was a long article and it kind of talks about um, that it was a popular in cafes uh, kind of dating back to about, I think it's like 96. And um, yeah, and then right. it kind of goes like it went from there and how it became more popularized. Um, there's an interesting thing. It talks about Duke's pumpkin pie flavored latte um, became a thing for a little while. Uh, so and then eventually... You know, there's a, I mean, it, it is, it's an interesting history. Although my favorite part is um, the team decided to call its final product a pumpkin spice latte. And then in parentheses, it says fall harvest latte didn't make the cut. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay. Yeah. So there's that. Marketing. It's a thing. All right. Yeah. yeah. So, hang what do you think? That's it. You can only talk about pumpkin spice so much. You complain. But yeah, we've had uh, analogies to Titanic. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much like. And and we found out that people are sheep. And uh, I learned what PSL means. In that case, I think that's the end. Oh. Wait, wait, to contact us. I'm going to look over to my left because that's where I have my feet. Um, pop over to our website, cubsoutloud.com. Um, uh, we may... Did, did did we get approval from uh, Ray to actually post this basic white girl <laughs> picture? <laughs> I'll find out. Uh, we, we may either have a link or a Z picture oh. of Ray in her basic white girl outfit. Um... Let me uh, see if I can find out. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get permission. I'm sure he's probably going to say yes, but, you know, it's good to ask. Um, as well as the link to, to these articles, including the Wikipedia article of the definition of pumpkin spice, uh, so you can make your own. Yeah. Uh, all at comesoutloud.com. You can shoot us an email at comesoutloud at gmail.com. Uh, shoot us a voicemail. Actually, talk to us. So you can do that at 361 we'll talk to 361 265 8255. Uh, you can find us on various social media outlets, including Instagram, Facebook, uh, Tumblr, Twitter, and YouTube at Cubs Out Loud in the appropriate place of the URL. You can pop over to the CLO Entourage chat, where you can see when we post go live for these, as well as have uh, many different interesting conversations and see naked people. Uh, over at telegram.com slash or tinyurl.com slash telegram dash col. I can say these right. Uh, you can subscribe to our Google Calendar, find out when we're planning to do these shows as soon as we actually plan them at, at tinyurl.com slash calendar dash col. You can find merchandise such as this Cubs Out Loud uh, logo shirt over at, um, at zazzle.com slash Cubs Out Loud. Again, you go to zazzle.com, you can scroll down to the bottom, switch your click on the link choice so that you can get cheaper shipping. Um, uh, and you can also uh, become a patron at patreon.com slash Cubs Out Loud, or if you just want to send us some cash, help us out, uh, you can do that at paypal.me slash Cubs Out Loud. You can rate us on Apple Podcasts, subscribe to us through Google Play Podcasts, Spotify, and over on Amazon Music. You're there too. Ooh. I need to set up that link on our website. Maybe. I think my thing's not working quite right. But uh, we're there. <laughs> but we just got a notification that the podcasts are live on Amazon Music. So, um, whoop, whoop. so check us out over there. You can find me anywhere on the internet as Box Hat, Box Puppy, Box Cub, Box Something or Other. Or over on Twitch where you can see our uh, B&D where this last week I... Uh, Melted one of my players' heart. Then this week, I turned around and metaphorically punched him in the gut. Uh, I don't know if that makes me a good DM or a bad DM. I don't know. But that's at, at uh, twitch.tv slash windgem on Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. Central Time. Damon. If you want to get in touch with me, you can find me as TheaterCub79 on most bear-related sites or on Facebook. Or you can find me as Pup underscore Umbra on Twitter. The Twitter is definitely not safe for work. 
<laughs> uh, if you would like to get in touch with me, you can pretty much find me anywhere online as Gambra73. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and with that, take it in, everybody. Good night, everybody. Have a good one, y'all.